you go. Have a nice day. Okay, one cappuccino. Can you get anything else for you? Yeah. Are you Mark Griffin? Yes, I am. I'm Grace Hall. I'm a reporter. I was wondering if I can ask you a few questions about the Gorham Institute. I understand you recently left a position there. I'm sorry, what, uh, what publication are you with? The World Chronicle. Oh, the uh, tabloid. I prefer to think of it as an irreverent journal of popular culture. Right. Um, did you want to have a seat? Sure. There we go. Thanks. So, uh, you probably want to know if there were any celebrities in there? No, no, no. That's Inquirer terrain. We don't star suck. Actually, I wanted to know, while you were there, did you notice anything strange? I'm sorry, I'd like to help you, but I did sign a confidentiality agreement. Off the record, then. I'm not sure how things work in your business, but my word means something. All right. I'll give you 50 bucks. No, thank you. Nick's tickets? Table at Pastis? I'm sorry. <laughs> Can you at least tell me why you quit? Mm, nope. You are Mark Griffin, right? Yes. You know what? No offense, but you're supposed to be some kind of dirtbag, right? You were caught six months ago boosting cars in Westchester, and now, now you're Mr. Integrity? I'm impressed. I see you've done your homework. Yeah, I love my job. I'm tenacious, I'm persistent, and if need be, I can be incredibly annoying. I hope that won't be necessary. Me too. Right. Here are my numbers. I hope to hear from you. You know... No offense, but, um, well, you're very lucky you're so damn pretty. I'm meeting some old friends tomorrow at the park. Maybe you'd like to join us. <laughs> old friends? What is this, some sort of ex-con support group? Hardly. I'll call you and let you know the time and place, OK? I'm looking forward to it. Thank you, boy. What? You're a fascinating guy, Mark Griffin. Why? Because I like the lawn bowl? Yes. There aren't a heck of a lot of other 21-year-olds around, if you haven't noticed. What can I say? I love the game. My grandfather taught me how to play. He used to be a regular here. Did he pass away? Yeah, just over a month ago. He was a good man. He helped a lot of people. I hope to continue his work someday. I assume that doesn't involve making lattes. No, that's just to get me into med school. No, my, uh, my grandfather was a cardiologist, and he dedicated his life to it. And just as he was perfecting a technique that would have revolutionized mesothelial stenosis, his hand started to shake. No more surgery. So you want to pick up where he left off? I think there's still a lot of good to be done there. <laughs> Wait a second. You're... You were stealing cars in order to pay for med school? I've changed a lot lately. Hey, Mark. Hey, hey, we need another lead. Would your lady friend like to join? No, 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 because I don't play. I would love to. No, I don't know how. So the object is to get the bull as close to the white ball, Jack, as possible. And it's kind of tricky because the ball is asymmetrical. So it's going to curve as it progresses down the rink. You understand? Um, no. No, I'm <laughs> Oh, okay, all right, good. You can hold it, just like a bowling ball. And bring this foot back. Pull it back. I'm under a line. There you go. <laughs> no, no, man. Yeah. It's very good for your first time. Very good. You know what? You're quite the liar, too. I'll try. Ugh. <laughs> uh. So tell me something, Mark. Why did you quit? The fact of the matter is I didn't. Dr. Gorham found out about my history, and she torpedoed me. And you didn't notice anything strange while you were working there? No. Look, Dr. Gorham is, is an extraordinary woman, and she's doing important work. And that you can quote me on. Well, if you're any indication, then I would have to agree. So what about you? 
How did you start working for an irreverent journal of popular culture? <sighs> Promise to pretend you don't think I'm crazy? Scout's on it. Honestly, say you're the first person I've ever met in my entire life who has been abducted by aliens. I usually get that. But did they harm you in any way? No. Not really. It, it took a long time to figure out what really happened, but I uh, managed to get through it. Hmm. Incredible story. You know, you're the first person I've told this story to who hasn't gotten an emergency phone call and had to leave right away. Hey. Hey. So did, uh, everything work out okay? No. Not yet. But maybe you can help me out, Dr. Copeland. Here you go. On me. You know, what I did was wrong, Grace. Much worse than anything Mark Griffin ever did. The truth is, I'm a much bigger scumbag than he ever was. I wish I could say you were wrong about that. So I suggest you try and make up for it. Go to med school. Become the best cardiologist there is. Save as many lives as you can. You know, you are wise beyond your years, Grace. Thank you. Hey, just curious, would you like to hang out with me sometime? No offense, but you're a little too old for me. 